uh, low everyday superpower signing in place where you learn about body language verbal communication relationships game everything in between two links down in the description of this video one of them will take you to my catalog of body language it's a youtube playlist consisting of the a to z of body language know-how you'll be able to read someone's mind through going through that information second to that is the patreon where you are going to learn how to observe people on real dates see the attraction and repulsion cues internalize the understanding of them behaviors take them out into the real world and be casanova essentially let's talk attraction dating seduction we speak on being present in the mind of those whom we are wanting to attract right those who we feel worthy of being ours hopefully in the time to come we want to be on their mind we want them to fall in love with us just as we fall in love with them because they are always on our mind right i'm going to talk about gift giving i'm going to talk about possessions at this point have you ever been on a date with a woman and she's gone to the toilet and she has trusted you with her handbag it might have gone without saying that she has left her bag with you that's significant it's a showcase of trust and it's a showcase of your ownership over something slight okay and it retains a bridge that connects the both of you together and this is where we're going to utilize such items and possessions in order to consistently be present within somebody's life if you decide to give somebody a gift out of the kindness of your heart you could give them chocolates as to which they will eat and throw away the wrappers you could give them i don't know we wouldn't do this but let's say we give them a pair of shoes that which will be worn and then thrown aside once they've been used or so on and so forth right how about we give them something that lasts something that remains with them um i mean the shoe thing somewhat has a parallel of what i'm going to speak of that was a really bad example if i'm to be honest with you but we're going to put a key ring of ours on their keys we're going to give them jewelry we're going to give them something ornamental and meaningful that can exist within their living space and whilst you are within their living space you are within their mind you are within the intimate spaces to which they reside consistently present you're going to get photos of both of you together sentimental yeah when you date a woman and you are having sexual relations at some point she might leave a toothbrush at yours it's accidental right yeah surely it is you might borrow an umbrella because it's raining outside and you need to get back home so you take her umbrella and now does that bridge between you you see does that connection does that presence and this is something that needs to be considered this is nonverbal and it has to go without saying for the most part you don't give somebody a gift and say that's fair because i want you to remember me you just do it and take it as it is and then as time goes on maybe there'll be more exchanges it might be transactional you see i'm sentimental in that way i adore when women give me personalized objects i savor them and i find i find it um yeah, I find it a beautiful thing personally. I do see the beauty in it. For a woman to go out of her way to individualize something for you out of the billions of people on planet Earth, um, I find it a beautiful thing. So why wouldn't I approach it as such? Now, there has to be a story of some sort there has to be an extra essence so when we speak on communicating through the word and so forth why not create something engaging a woman is not going to respond to us when we say hey beautiful on a uh, 
a dating app, but she might respond when we say something which is worthy of responding to, something which holds a little more value. When we speak about mystery and be enigmatic and having layers to us as people in order to be interesting and to provoke food for thought within the minds of others, why can't we utilize that in the sense of this gift giving, in the sense of this utilizing material objects to create a presence in the life, in our absence? Why can't we give a little more emphasis, a bit of a story behind it? I got you this keyring because it reminded of what we were speaking about the other day. And it might be quirky, it might be funny, but it's not a joke. Come on, put it on your keys. Go on, put it on your keys. Now I'm always apart. I'm always there, I'm always present. And we can rinse and repeat. How about we have a bet and... If you lose, you have to get me a little bit of jewellery. Alright? And that little bit of jewellery or that item of clothing is now there on my wrist. I know, it's, it's a like you have given me a gift, it possessed, I mean, in a way I've conned you into it, but you've decided to go with it, you can always say no. You know very clearly what I'm doing at this point, but you lose, so you're going to have to abide and get pulled into my realm. You have to establish this connection. It's clear as day if it's not going to go that way, somebody's not going to do what they don't want to do. There's repulsion and there's attraction, right? But somebody is going to do what they want to do. They will do it. If they want to do it, they will do it. If they want to date you, they will date you. If they want to pursue you, they will pursue you. If they are interested in you, they will indicate that they are interested in you. You see? So that's a little bit of food for thought. And on that note, I'm signing out. Click like and subscribe. Peace.